There's one fact that never fails to infuriate me. That fact is that every day, 150,000 people die of a disease that we ignore. I remember when I was eight, deciding that I wanted to work on curing aging. And it was watching my grandma um, suffer the aches and pains of chronological age. Watching her try to play with my brother and I when wobbly knees and arthritic joints made playing painful. I remember very clearly the deaths of three grandparents, three amazing grandparents, from this awful, inexorable progression of aging damage that we've somehow come to view as something normal, natural, and beautiful to be celebrated. At least outside this room, that seems to be the consensus. And growing up as a little eight-year-old kid in New Zealand, that's the only answer I could get when I asked, why? Why do things have to be this way? Now, I can't understand now, and I couldn't understand then, why anyone wouldn't want to work on this problem. And so it took four years to find a way to get into a lab, um, but I've spent the past six years working through labs and literature to try to attack this. Now, a hundred years ago, a little 12-year-old kid in New Zealand wouldn't have a shot with no starting scientific knowledge or resources at working on this. But the incredible fact about us the amazing thing about now is that we've got the toolkit to fight aging, to really cure age-related disease. I mean, just think how far we've come in a century. At the start, Schrodinger was trying to find ways to estimate the unknowable, mysterious area enclosing our genetic information carriers. Now we're creating card-carrying DNA calculators, computers out of genetic information. <sighs> My god, we're watching the pathways that we worked on in worms turn into drug discovery programs in humans, and we're swapping biological circuitry like it's Lego blocks. Now, the problem in aging research is while we've got all these preclinical models that show therapeutic efficacy across age-related diseases, nobody's taking them toward the clinic. They're stuck on the shelf in labs. So that's the part of the process that I've chosen to work on. Finding and funding therapeutics that will change medicine by getting at the root cause of age-related disease.